Hi everybody. Kent. Hey, uh, so I'm remodeling my mobile home and working on replacing the subfloor and drywall and pretty much everything in here. And uh, so I need a tool to help remove some of the uh, drywall and the subfloor and the sill plate and some uh, two by fours and that and if you ever remodeled a mobile home, you know, uh, they're put together with staples and screws and, oh, they use them. Uh, there's some places there's eight or ten in the same, pretty much within about an inch of each other. And to pull that subfloor out and I have to uh, get in there and saw through the wood and the nails and the screws and... Uh, so I, I bought this Ryobi, and it's been working good. Uh, I've, used, I've got a Ryobi Sawzall too, and that works, but these uh, multi-tool, oscillating multi-tools really work good to get in underneath the 2x4, like between the sill plate and the 2x4. And uh, so it's it's been working good, but the thing I don't like about the Ryobi is this on-off switch. Right there, he's... it's just not easy to turn on. It's easy to turn off, and sometimes it goes good, and sometimes not. And the variable speed is back to here. See there, I, I... my thumbs get sore after a while. So it, it's not the easiest. It's got a nice, it's got a single LED there for a light, so it's. Got a nice little light if you're working in the dark. Um, to change the blade, it's not too hard. It's fairly good. You lift this lever, it takes the tension off. And it's got a little dog there that you flip out. A little metal. And it comes off. And it goes back on the same way. And I, the head is actually even magnetized. It kind of holds it there. So even without flipping that down, <clears throat> it's not going nowhere. So that's kind of cool. But then you flip it and kind of slide it, it automatically centers. And that puts the tension back on it. So the blade change is good. I like that. Um, and it's fairly easy to handle. It's uh, the newest brushless. So any tool I buy now is going to be brushless. I think it's just a better tool. Uh, but I've been watching another channel. Green Acre Homestead. They're remodeling their mobile home. They've moved it. <laughs> they've uh, they've got a little homestead. I think they're in Tennessee. So shout out to uh, Sam and Angela. And I'll include a link below to their uh, website. So check them out. Um, they're doing some pretty cool things. They're doing a lot more than I am. But uh, they've actually... Yes. My kitty cat, Mr. Eli. But Sam and Angela actually turned me on to the Craftsman RP brushless oscillating multi-tool. And the one thing I love, I mean love about this tool, is the paddle switch. And it's variable speed. The more pressure you put on it, the faster it goes. So, I mean, there I'm hardly putting any pressure. So... And you can lock it off so you don't accidentally turn it on if you're transporting it in a tool bag or something. And you can also lock it on if you want it on all the time. I don't know if you're doing a huge job, I guess. So, um, it's got two LEDs. I think they're, they're brighter. It lights it up a lot better. And to change the blade, I think the blade change on this is even better than the Ryobi. It's just two fingers down there, squeeze. Now I don't think it's magnetized. So, I mean, it won't stay there. Like, it'd be nice if that was magnetized, but you really don't need it because you're holding it with your fingers and you put it on there. So, the blade change is better. I think the LEDs are better. The paddle switch is better. Um, it's 
it's smaller, it's more compact. You know, it's so I think if you're working in a tight place, you know, it's a good two, two and a half, three inches shorter. So I think this this definitely gets a thumbs up for me. I've owned a lot of Ryobi tools. I've got a lot of this is a four amp battery. I got six amp batteries, a bunch of two amp batteries. So I'm well into the Roby line. So it was a tough decision going into a, a new power tool line. But you know, Craftsman's it's always been a good name. And this is the RP brushless series. And supposedly the RP is run performance. It's supposed to be better because of the brushless, so we'll see. But I only got one Craftsman battery, and you know, who knows, I need to get a new circular saw cordless, so maybe I'll be looking into the Craftsman circular saw here soon. But I like this tool. So I don't know of any other tools, if you know of any other tool that's an oscillating multi-tool that has a paddle switch like this, put it in the comments below, because as far as I know, Maybe DeWalt and Makita, or maybe one of them does, but I I haven't really researched it. So um, anyway, if you use a multi-tool like this, uh, let me know what you do with it. You know, are you in construction? And you know, I'm doing a lot of remodeling, and I'm into doing woodworking, and uh, so this tool will come in real handy for me. So we'll even do uh, do a weight here on them and see what they weigh. I've got a scale and uh, so we'll do the Ryobi first. Three pounds, nine point one ounce. So and they both got similar same size batteries, so and the craftsman. Three pounds, seven point two. So a couple ounces different. So you know this actually feels heavier, but the scale says it's lighter. But I just I think the design's better. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching this far. If you've got this far, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, you know I'm not going to beg you to subscribe, but I would like. You know, I'm going to be doing more of this channel, and the editing is going to get better. I'm sitting here at my computer now, so um, I hope to do a lot of neat things. Uh, it's not always going to be about remodeling. I, I don't know if I'll start another channel. I'm definitely thinking about renaming the channel, so uh, I think about removing my name and just calling it Extra Miles Woodworking. Or extra mile creations maybe if you uh, got a suggestion let me know definitely keeping the extra mile maybe extra mile homestead uh, a lot of people are into the homesteading you know I I live in a mobile home park I think it's a lifestyle you know I, I'm living debt free I'm not going into debt for any of this I'm paying for all this myself and uh, I faced a lot of challenges in my life, so as you stick around and watch more videos, I'll share more about my life. I've dealt with suicide and depression, and uh, you know we all have struggles. And I just want to share my knowledge, what I've learned, and make hopefully have a little fun along the way. So, you know, I I really love what I do. That's why I call it creations. I love really being creative and and doing unique things and maybe going a little bit farther than a normal person would you know I want to make this stuff last because down the road uh, you know, it doesn't break and I don't have to redo it so anyway thanks for watching and please be on the lookout I'm going to be posting more videos and uh, we appreciate it and y'all take care this is a shop cat his name is Eli he has to approve everything I do.